Hello everybody. Um, today I decided that I was not gonna do a recipe video and um, in light of everything that's happening around us, especially as a fellow Nigerian myself, I thought that it'd be more relevant perhaps to um, speak to those issues that are, you know, untethering and to try and provide some sort of solace for those that are going through it the most and just to give advice on how to try and keep sane during insane moments. Um, um, for those of you that don't know right now, there is basically um, a Nigerian's massacre in Nigeria because of SARS, which is a, a protection force that was deployed by Nigeria back in the day that was supposed to protect Nigerians from corruption to protect them you know like police and eventually they themselves became the very perpetrators that they were supposed to be protecting the citizens of citizens of Nigeria from and as a result um, there have over the years historically there have been protests against them and people um, demanding that they be banned which they have been but they they then are recommissioned again so um, there has been evident futility in the, the government's um, plan of action to actually ban um, um, SARS and actually come up with a better solution because SARS was now using their power and their authority against the Nigerians and they were profiling Nigerians that looked wealthy or well-dressed even women that looked wealthy and well dressed I, I i heard a lady saying that because she was driving her own car and you know how women um overall globally women are usually seen as um, men's helpers you know and that they can't stand on their own two feet and they don't have their own independence now because this woman had her own car and i, I suppose it's an it's a nice car um it was a nice car um the men called her a prostitute so they associate any kind of good life with being part of some sort of criminal activity which is ironic because the government themselves are obviously corrupt and they're living a good life you know um it's almost as if the government expects their people to be suffering which is messed up government then because then what are you doing to improve the lives of your your people you know and if the norm for you is for them to 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 be suffering so much so that them being seen as wealthy driving a nice car carrying iphone is questionable to you then that that should that should then make you ask yourself what is it what kind of standards what kind of what kind of future do you hold for your people you know um, but, um uh, this is something that helped me because yesterday I was a mess a few couple of days ago I was really a mess and I did kind of feel like well like people are not giving as much attention to this as they should be the Nigerian government is treating this like it's child's play play playing candy crush you know and just people in power that have the position to help are keeping quiet whereas when it came to the black lives black lives matter movement everybody was on on that ship everybody was helping everybody was reposting you know um i, I followed this page on on instagram called um niger yoruba guy yes and yoruba guy was always posting you could you can tell i'm not saying that that's that's our our <laughs> our representation of the whole of nigeria but i'm just saying it just shows how Black Lives Matter only matters when it's happening to everybody else, but when it happens to Africans, it's like, I don't know. Are you, are you there? Sorry, insufficient fans. Your airtime is, is finished. The card is declining. Can, can you hear me? The service is bad. One bar service. Battery low. Card is declining. Mathematics is not adding up. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know insufficient funds and like I, 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 card is blocked hot card all of the above you know it's almost as if things are not they're not connecting and I'm it really it's it makes me very wary so yeah and these are the five tips that I hope can help you 
and in some way i hope that you can even if not all of them help you some one of them at least you know can help somebody so the first tip that i want to share is it's okay to cry you know crying is a very natural human body response and i'm not trying to oversimplify what crying means to people because as we know c crying is not just a matter of our natural biological reaction to situations around us but it also has deep roots in culture and gender expression and masculinity and femininity and i just want to say can we just put that aside for a second and just you know be attuned to our human nature and allow yourself to cry whether you're toby whether you're if you're ma whether you're jack or you know Boshali. and if you don't cry that's also fine but i hope it's not because you're making sure you don't um don't don't see crying as a weakness it's very natural right now for you to be overwhelmed um, um i hope that you realize that you know emotions are not bad we just have to to know the time and the place and right now is definitely the time to cry if you have to cry cry because the government is horrible cry because you 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 thought humans could be better you know cry because you wish you had more support cry because i definitely was crying because i wish i could help more i i, I felt stuck i felt like like there was nothing i could do and that's why that's another reason why i decided to film this video because i, I was thinking that um i, I mean me saying oh i don't have two million subscribers it won't make a difference is part of the problem you know and i thought that the little light that i try and share can help anybody doesn't matter if you're one of the the, the number of subscribers that i have i'm glad even if you're not subscribed i hope you do <laughs> um i thought that i can try and and share my piece my my even if it's a small sphere of influence you still matter which brings me to my next point which is as long as you do your part you know as long as you ensure that you're doing your part i think your best is enough and feeling like there was nothing i could do other than repost and you know and then also make this video right now i think that i mean i wish i could make more but i, I you should allow yourself and forgive yourself and and you know be patient with yourself that it's enough for now you know still you're doing your best as long as you did your part in your best capability the way you know how if you're talking about it and people want to talk about it and i'm not saying you always have to talk about it it's not your responsibility to be teaching people all the time there's the internet there's the news there's instagram you know but i'm just saying as long as you're doing your part then you're doing your best like you're doing your best it's it's okay don't be so hard on yourself i was definitely being hard on myself that's part of the reason why i was crying so much because i'm like what can i do i'm not a millionaire yet what the heck you know I, I i i don't know that many people um I, I just didn't feel like i was reaching enough people and if you're not reaching enough people then obviously your chance of getting somebody to actually help is much smaller as well it's, it's reduced significantly so i was thinking about that but then i realized it's not in my control and i was doing the best that i could do and that's all that matters as long as you're doing your part as long as you meet that thing halfway like i said in my previous previous video meet the thing at the airport don't wait for it to come here meet it at the airport and this is me meeting at the airport it's gonna take off from there um and i've done my part and god knows what's in your heart at the end of the day it's all about your intention and so don't try and and fixate off of things that you can't control what you can control you do that and and god will deal with the rest or whoever you believe in or even if you don't believe in anything you just do what you can which is a part of my third point which is don't stress over what you can't control don't stay up ruminating about things that are not in your control as long as you did your part then you've done your best as long as you know you did your best and that should be enough and it's okay then it's time for you to walk away you've done your part now let it be you know there's no point in stressing stressing doesn't make the situation go away stressing over something that you can't control doesn't give you even doesn't doesn't allow you more control over the situation you know if anything it just gives you stress you know um it just takes away time from you reflecting on things that that you can control like the little conversations that you could be having instead educating yourself reading a book about the history 
of Nigeria and why things are the way they are. Um, I mean, we all know it's colonialism, but you know, <laughs> you could read more about that. There's a book called um, How Europe Underdeveloped Africa by, um, uh, I can't remember his, his name, but something Rodney. And you can, you can read that book. That book was a great read if you really want to know about how Europe underdeveloped Africa. <laughs> ah, Europe. Anyway, um, speaking about, you know, having these conversations with other people instead of stressing over what is not in your control and just giving yourself high blood pressure, you know, and you're sweating. It's even, it's too hard for that. Another point is talking to somebody. Um, I, can't, I can't imagine a life without having someone to talk to. Maybe I'm saying this because I'm generally a very social person. I like to talk to people. But I also think that even if you're not, talking to people is very important. Just the act of vocalizing what's in your head. Hearing your thoughts when they're already outside of your mouth kind of brings a different perspective, especially when somebody else can reflect on them. It, it brings about a greater sense of introspection because then you can really think about what it is that you said and how you meant it, you know? And you can get different perspectives. That can help you perhaps even solve problems that you didn't think you could by getting a different perspective and a point of view from somebody else. And then lastly, I know that it's been very hard and this is not just just in, in, in light of what's been happening in Nigeria, just in Africa and just globally, you know? The world is going, I don't even know where it's going. Things just feel like they're not making sense. I don't know if Jesus is coming now or it's very important for you to take care of your health in times like these because stats have shown and you don't even only have to rely on stats for this, but just in general, people's depression and anxiety usually goes up because of things like this. And I just think it's important to re remind people that they can try and keep it under control. Yes, ha have being anxious around this time and very nervous and depressed at times is, is, is most likely inevitable, but you can manage it in such a way that it doesn't become too big of a problem that it's now, now no longer something that you can control, you know? Um, you don't want to be diagnosed with major depressive disorder. You don't want it to affect you in such a way that now you can't function anymore. And I think there are certain small little steps and small little efforts that we can make in our lives in order to help that. And one of those is resting. I think it's very important to rest and creating some time for me time where you just detox yourself from everything else that's going on in the world and you try and focus on yourself. And I know that right now being selfish is doesn't seem like like the most practical solution you know to help anything but i think it's much more easier for you to influence people around you and for you to make an impact on people around you even in the smallest ways when you're inside and when you yourself are okay it starts with you you need to be okay enough to help somebody else you know what i'm saying um and that's why i really implore with you to rest don't lose too much sleep off of this. Sleep is very important. Sleep deprivation is not, it's not the way to go right now when your emotions are really all over the place. You need to rest. Do something that you really like, you know? Take a walk if you need to. Have some fresh air. Binge watch a series for now that's going to make you laugh and not make you think about the sad things. Make something that you really enjoy. Um, comfort food. Each I, I know that I really like to cook when I'm stressed and I'm happy. It doesn't matter what time of the day it is. I really like to cook. And if you do too, even if you don't, maybe learn how to make your favorite meal, your comfort meal. Uh, yesterday, I decided that I was gonna have slop chips. I went downstairs, I went to the fish and chips place. I didn't buy the fish, obviously. I bought, I bought the fries and I really enjoyed those fries. I enjoyed them I, I, and I put spice. I put spice. I made my own 1000 Island sauce because obviously theirs has mayonnaise that's not vegan, but I made my own tomato sauce, mayonnaise, chili sauce. I mean, I, I, I enjoyed myself. I cried enough. It was enough yesterday. Like, wow. And then I said, okay, I'm going to finish doing my work now. And after I finish doing these couple of pages, I'm going downstairs. I'm having fries and bread. I'm having starch on starch. Um, just, it's all about the balance, having a balance. And I think a lot of us don't realize how important having a balance is. So yeah, if you have to take the day off of school, it's okay. You can do that. If it means you're not going to work today because you're just too sad, that's fine. Deal with your emotions. Then come back and come back stronger. Oftentimes, we, we think 
that when something when when we when we reach an obstacle it means that's the end no 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 you can come back you can regenerate it's fine it's not the end like i said in the previous video don't allow your failure or in this case your disappointment to become your dwelling place don't get too comfortable there don't you dare buy bricks and lay a nice house don't you dare don't you dare lay a foundation there use that to take a breath and then keep moving forward when you're feeling very overwhelmed me time help, helps more than you think it, it can you might feel guilty doing taking that me time because not everybody has that luxury but if you do please i promise you it's very important that you do it'll do so much for your soul and your spirit it'll do so much for just you um to just recuperate to declutter to become more sound minded you know and then maybe when you come back you'll have a different perspective maybe you'll be able to deal with whatever it is um much more effectively you know and yeah i think self-care is very very important and that's why i wanted to share these five tips i hope that you are able to use these tips to incorporate them into your life right now especially right now when it seems like life is just chaotic and nothing is making sense i hope this video makes sense to you at the end of the day, I hope that you remember that you, despite what the world seems to be showing, especially towards black people and just people of color, but just humanity in general, despite what's happening around, just remember that you are loved. And I think even more important than the fact that you are loved, you should love yourself. Show yourself some love. It's very important to love yourself. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. And enjoy the rest of your day drink your water hydrate it's very hot right now you do not want to be crying and be dehydrated at the same time especially if you're crying just drink your water